Hi folks and welcome back to the Star Wars Library where Star Wars is in print and guess what we are on the last volume or volume four the last story in volume four of our Screams into the Void pa uh, trade paperback um, and it is called The Darker and uh, it is the last one before we get to the upcoming Mandalorian arc so basically uh, it is by David Michelini and uh, art by Ron Freeman I think is how you pronounce it. I was doing the layouts, then Tom Palmer is doing the finishings. And uh, here is the cover right here. So, uh, Luke has returned from um, Behibeth, and, um, and Leia has basically found information about Boba Fett and, um, you know, finds that. Uh, there was actually a, uh, a bounty hunter that was in league with him um, right before he caught all of them at Bespin. So they think that this hunter could be an ally because they think that, okay, this, this hunter is really ticked off. You know, maybe what we can do is, you know, cut a deal where he'll want to aid the rebellion because Boba Fett screwed him over. So there's three possible bounty hunters that they think uh, could be a potential uh, ally and it's Dengar, IG-88, and Bosk. These are the suspects that they think. So they kind of, they're gonna eventually split off and we'll get to that in the next issue or in the next arc. But basically the Hujibs who are on this base, which of course are all in here, um, and R2-D2 actually hear this call for help. And so we actually get to see um, R2-D2's thoughts, which is actually kind of interesting. We don't really get to see uh, R2's um, you know, internal thoughts, because for example, it says things like input, audio, uh, in entry, human range, desperation, new nuance, prescribed action, alert companions, pro probable outcome, abomination to stop hearing things in quotations. Um, so you get to hear his thoughts and that's kind of interesting. Um, and they're kind of, they're, they're, they're laid out as how a droid would think you would, you know, you would assume. Um, so they go out and they find this being called the Darker, which is that lizard thing, uh, looking thing that is on the cover, uh, right here. They find him and, um, and he's called the Darker and he's basically, it's using, he's using technology to remove these dark emotions and, um, that's what's creating this being. Um, these dark emotions are all coming together as one thing and you get this. Uh, what's going to happen? You're going to have to read to find out. So it's kind of a goofy story. It's it's a it's a very um, fantasy uh, esque story, uh, kind of like a couple ones we've talked about prior, like how there was jousting uh, in the Star Wars universe and very medieval esque. It's the same things here. Um, it's kind of also strange too because it's like okay, you have telepathic stories. Like how can they send tel uh, telepathic thoughts to droids? That's a little weird. Um, but, uh, I mean, honestly, here's the thing. The, the last issue in this trade, you know, issue 67, it's it's really just a filler story. Um, it's, it's setting up the Bounty Hunter uh, story arc that we'll get to in the next issue. Um, it's the first real, um, you know, pr promise that Marvel has shown about getting Han Solo uh, ever since we've, you know, been post-Empire. So, is this an essential read? The question we always ask. Is this an essential read? Absolutely not. It's a very filler story. Uh, if you skip it, there's really nothing that you're going to get out of it. Uh, there's nothing you're going to miss if you choose to skip. So honestly, if, if that's what you choose to do, you can go ahead and skip on the next arc, which I think is a lot better, a lot more recognizable, and I cannot wait to talk about it next episode. So until then, folks, thank you so much for tuning in, and may the Force be with, the, be with you.